a baby with colleagues. It's crying the whole night. The mother finally uh, seeks advice and goes to the doctor. And the doctor is prescribing bacteria. Tell me, how should this work? <laughs> We have recently done the study of one of the bacteria, the probiotic with Lactobacillus roitri, and it has turned out that uh, if you give these drops with Lactobacillus roitri to an infant with a colleague, it really helps, and it helps in that way that it reduces the crying time. So this is something that is important for not only for the infants but also for for, for the parents. And not only that it reduces uh, crying time, but we also assess what is the perception of the colleague by, by parents, and therefore, in a way, the quality of life of a, of a family. And um, the perception was that the colleague is less severe from the point of view of, of parents, and uh, as a consequence, the quality of life which has very much to do something with the quality of life of an infant, has improved. And of course, it's so in, in other words, so we, in a, in a clinical trial, we were able to demonstrate that, that one, at least one of the bacteria, which is Lactobacillus roitri, um, may be beneficial in improving the symptoms of infantile colic. How does it work? That's a very good question. We don't really know what is the mechanism behind it, and this is one of the limitations of, of our study, of course. Um, but definitely it has something to do with balancing the, the gut microbiota, and, and perhaps it has something to do with the motility. But anyway, no matter how it works, it has been proven, it has been documented in a well-conducted um, study, randomized, double-blind, um, that it works, and I think it's the most important for, for, for both for, for, for the infant, for family, but also for the physician, because we are very, much, very often approached by parents, and it's not easy to say that colic will go away anyway uh, within a few months, because before it goes away, you can, get r you can really be, be very, very frustrated. Now, does it work in breastfed infants as well? It was, in our study, it was done uh, in infants who were predominantly breastfed. Uh, and also previous study was mainly in breastfed infants. So one of the questions which we still have to answer is if it works equally well in, in formula-fed infants. Such a study has been designed and I, th it's, I, I think it's already started. So very soon we will know whether it works also in infants who are formula or exclusively formula fed. So at the moment it's very well documented in breastfed or predominantly breastfed infants. Now, if these colleagues appear, how long should the mother wait before she's coming to you and asking for these drops? <laughs> My experience is that they come very, very quickly. Um, in, in our study it was at least for three weeks. That, but of course, in real life, patients usually do come much earlier to see. They do not wait until for three weeks until you say fulfill the criteria for inclusion into the study. So they and usually then come. They and then come we to were you? given. And then, they, then in, in our study, it was given um, once daily for 21 days. And the interesting was that the effect, this reduction in the crying time, and, and the perception of the of the severity of colic and, and the family the quality of life, everything was better not only during the administration of, this, of the product, but also one week after we stopped the administration of the product. So there are, these are the benefits of, of, of this treatment. Definitely we don't have a good treatment for infant a colic and, and I think that this study is important because it shows that at least we have something to help those infants. Are these drops very expensive or <coughs> can you take any probiotics? Or no, no, definitely not and we all know that not all probiotics are equal so we should choose the one which has been has proven efficacy. So in our study it was Lactobacillus roitri 
and of course we don't know, we don't have studies with other probiotics and, uh, and we cannot extrapolate the results from one probiotic to another. So if, if anyone wants to use a probiotic it, and, and to have the same effect, it has to be the same study product, the same lactobacillus reuteri as we had in our study. So I can recommend if the doctors don't know enough about a colleague's lactobacillus reuteri to look at the Nestle Nutrition Institute <laughs> website where you have a lecture on this. Yes, please. Okay, okay thank you very much. Thank you very much.